First, you want to take some white scrap fabric and make some, um, make some rectangle shapes on it that are about four inches wide. And I made three just in case, in case it was too short or too long. And uh, first, you have to start cutting them out. Once you finish cutting them out, you can get them all sorted and you can figure out which ones you want to use first. I would suggest picking the better looking ones to go, I mean to use first. So I picked these two and I'm going to put them up against each other and start sewing them together. This is a lot like um, my brother how he made the Arno scarf. So, if you get confused or if I do something different, um, I'm sorry, so you can just probably go watch his video and go see how he made it, because they're basically the same things, but I'm just saying, if you get confused on how I made it, maybe you can go watch his video and see how he made it. Maybe it'll make more sense. And then you can start sewing these two together. Now you can figure out how you want to wrap it around your neck. Um, for me, I just wrapped it around and then stuck it through the top so then it just kind of comes out through the bottom. Uh, please don't listen or watch me talk because that was this audio so I know how to, so I know what to say whenever I do an over voice. But anyways, you can puff it out like I'm doing now or you can stick it down through. I've seen it two different ways, either way really works. But I'm kind of do. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of both. But I came to some trouble because I don't find it too puffy. So I figured out that if I sew some another length on there, that I could make it a little bit more puffy. But I did not use the third the third strip of white fabric. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of white fabric off and sew it on at a certain angle, and then try to make it a little bit more puffy than it is now. ended up sewing it at this certain angle. It's all personal preference and how you want to do it, but that's just how I, I did it. 
and then I can see that it is a little bit more puffy and that's really what I wanted so again you can mess with it and do whatever you want but that's how I am gonna have it look remember like comment and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Unity cosplay Remember guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to check out the whole Assassin's Creed Unity cosplay playlist, which includes cosplay for the Green Assassin, made, and is going to be worn by me, Connor, and Honor Dorian cosplay, which is going to be made and worn by my twin brother, Clayton. Also, you can look at our Assassin's Creed playlist to watch all of our videos about Assassin's Creed Unity and how we analyzed all of its trailers. Catch you guys later.